boogers suck. Hey, I'm Coach Brian, strength coach here at criticalbench.com. And yeah, grip strength. Everybody needs some grip in their life. Uh, I tell a lot of people, a lot of friends, a lot of family, get a grip. Uh, literally, get a grip. So grip strength is not only important for just, uh, just having good, healthy, working hands, but it can also prevent you or allow you to lift a lot heavier weight, especially when you're doing things like deadlifts, carries, and things like that. So grip strength, it's not just doing this. There's so much more that's involved than just doing this. Think about it, flexion, extension, rotation, even your fingertips. You know, all, how you change your body and how you change your wrist. Look at this, if I do this, it's gonna be different than that. If I do this, it's different than that. All the movement should be, all your training should be different ranges of motion. So in this video, you're gonna see the best grip strength exercises that are gonna be help, helpful in getting your forearms, your fingers, but also a little bit of your upper arm as uh, strengthened enough so you're gonna be able to lift a lot heavier weight and just walk around with those nice bowling pins on those arms there. So get ready, here are the best exercises. found these exercises helpful. If you're gonna create a program based on grip, tr grip strength training, you wanna do grip training uh, a couple times a week. I like to use the grip training exercises at the end of the workout because once these things are fatigued, your hands are useless. You're not gonna be able to hold anything else after, uh, after doing some of these exercises. So do them at the end of the workout. A couple times a week is adequate enough. 
or even just uh, have one of these in your back pocket, do it while you're at your desk. This is a great tool to use if you can't make it to the gym to do the exercises you just saw. So five, 10, 15 reps, depending on how, many, uh, how much weight or added resistance you're using, but also make sure you get full range of motion and don't forget to stretch out your wrists and uh, forearms as well, because if you don't want to have tight wrists, because uh, that will lock up some of your power. Other than that, there's something else I want you to read on power and uh, strength. It's all found in a report called the seven worst testosterone killers. You got to get it. Click this box right here, give us your email, and we'll send you the free PDF right now. Don't forget to subscribe to us by clicking here, and check out these videos that I know you're going to find helpful as well. I'm Coach Brian with CriticalBench.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.